really do appreciate you all. To all my new subscribers, thank you so much for taking your time to press the button. And to my old subscribers, you know feel about you. Thank you so, so much. And bye! Yeah, bye guys. I'm so sorry I've been away for so long. I released one video so far. I'm so sorry as I've just been so busy with so many wonderful things that I'm going to share with you on this channel as time goes on. But today guys, I'm just going to kind of give you info into what I've been up to and that I'm back, yes. And that as much as possible, I'll try to put things out every week now. And yeah, this will be my first one, more or less, this year. So I'm just going to give you a little update. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I've been up to in the past few months. I think, um, first and foremost, let me talk about my travel. Um, I've been able to travel this year so far. And I went to Santorini for some days and it's been a fantastic experience for me. And uh, yeah. I'm just going to show you in this video my uh, hotel room and how to set up on your holiday. So yeah, I'll show you a glimpse of my hotel room and now I set everything up for me to enjoy my holiday. Guys, this room is amazing. I cannot wait to show you what outside looks like. I just arrived in my hotel room in Santorini and <coughs> it's late at night so I can't really show you outside now. And there's no window in this room, so you just have to manage with what you can see. So come, let's show you, let's show you this room. So look at this space. It's like I have a living room and I have a bedroom. Look at this. I've never been in an hotel room this big and this spacious. This is just amazing. Look at this. I want to make my tea. There's a fridge here. There's storage here for whatever I want to keep there. Of course, good size television. Just I just love the aesthetic of this living room. The color. The wood structure, the lamp, is just amazing. And then come, come, let's see the bedroom. I guess it's just um, an uh, old brick style. This is how they build their house, according to one reception man told us. So they have this cute window, the door, and of course, the bedroom. I'm just, you can tell, I'm really excited. This is just beautiful. Look at the bed. Look at this. I cannot wait to sleep and just have fun on this holiday. This holiday is just amazing. Look at the storage for the clothes. They even have, um, if we want to keep something, you know, safe, they have a safe for us. And look at the lamp. Gosh, I love this lamp. It's so different, so unique. And this is my makeup table for, my, for the next five days, yeah? And this is so beautiful. I love the lamp. It's actually stone. This is just beautiful. I don't even know what to say. This is absolutely fantastic and look look at the structure of this bedroom look at this window if i can shut this window and it's still there if i want people in the living room to see me i can open this as well so this window has it the two window has it right and the door too has it this is the door this is a bedroom door yeah this is just beautiful i've never seen anything like this the bathroom come on, come on. This is the bathroom. This is a good size. Look at the sink. This is actually come on. This is a good size bathroom. This is a air dryer, beautiful big mirror. And I love the sink. It's actually glass on the wood. And this is the shower corner. And of course, this is a toilet. Gosh, this place is just beautiful. I don't know how, man, how they manage to keep this place, their building white. I will try again in the morning to record this again for you to see this room. I will, I will do that. And these are the, the tissue and the towel for the next five days. So yeah, I cannot wait to actually stay and live and have fun in Santorini for the next five days and I'm going to take you guys along. So this is just a view of my hotel room and my arrival. I'm so tired now. It's almost 11 p.m. because um, there are two hours ahead of us in the UK. So yes, I need to sort my bags out. I'll show you that in the morning as well. How to set up when you go on holiday so that everything is set and ready for you for your holiday. So guys, let's go. This is the morning after and I thought I'd show you the room again with the lights on 
This is the snack area. Can you all see the more food? Spinach and uh, kokoro. Yeah, and I have some other snack fruits, skittles, mango, dry mango, and all. And yes, uh, you can see that I've set up my stand already, my tripod. And uh, let's go to the bedroom again. So you can see that I've set up everything, all my stuff. Yeah, this is some of my clothes set up already and I've got some more clothes here I've got all my bags set up here and that's cash to read as a traveling agency that organizes for us and please guys don't judge me these are my shoes <laughs> for the five days that I'm here for don't just ask any question okay so these are my shoes all set out right and yes i really do travel light so these are my <laughs> three suitcases for this trip and of course my sugar daddy is over there just one box yeah and these are my wigs for the holiday and all the makeup the toiletries everything is up here and yes i'm ready to make this holiday a memorable one so right now i want to go and have a shower that's why you're not seeing my face so that I can make breakfast. I have it's 30 minutes to the end of breakfast now, so I need to hurry up, guys. Apart from that, I also want to share with you uh, my new addiction. Yes, I've got an addiction, guys. This is confession time. <laughs> um, anytime I find something good on Netflix, I love to share. You all know that it's on my Netflix review. So, this particular one I'm going to be talking about, Arturo. Mm -hmm. My new addiction, like I said before, is Arturo. It's called The Resurrection of Arturo on Netflix. It's an amazing story about um, the history of Turkey. It's, it's just fantastic. I love it. If you love Game of Thrones, this is a movie for you. And this is even better than Game of Thrones. Now, I love Game of Thrones. I'm an addict of Game of Thrones. But the difference between the two is, is that in um, <coughs> Game of Thrones, I think the sexual sin is too, uh, you know, it's too much. It's not like it's too much, it's just like it's not uh, appropriate for children under 18. That's for me what I believe. Um, because I cannot let my children under 18 year old watch Game of Thrones. But with a tool, you can, I mean, a tool, result, I keep mixing, mi missing how to pronounce them, but you guys understand. The spelling is down in my description box so you can, you know. Go on Netflix and look for it. Anyway, so Arturo is an amazing uh, story about the Turkish history, and there's no sexual scene there, but there's fire, there's blood, but the way they've um, presented it is so good, you know, it's not bad. So you still enjoy, you still see the action, you know, compared to Game of Thrones, where you see everything. And for me to say this is a little better than Game of Thrones, trust me, if you watch this, you're going to agree with me. It's just amazing. Something your family can watch. Now, Netflix is not paying me for this. I just want to share, you know, something good on Netflix that I'm watching. Now, this particular um, historic drama is, is five seasons. And um, since I started, I've not been able to stop, guys. I watch it every night with my husband. We're just addicted to it. I watch it every night. I'm on season five. I actually started this year, I think. I think I started early this year and every evening I'm always looking forward to setting down and watching that actually with my husband. It's just amazing that program. So you guys check it out and let me know how many stars you're going to give it. It's an amazing um, 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 program. I'm on my season five now, which is the last season, and I can't wait to finish it and look for the um, Ottoman Empire story because the Ottoman Empire was um, started by Arturo's son called Osman. So it's like a continuation of this Arturo resurrection. So I'm, I'm going to look for that. It's quite an amazing history. I love history. And when it can be put into visual for me, that's an amazing. And because of this, I'm looking forward to actually going to Turkey and actually going to the landmark where, you know, either Osman or Arturo or his harps and all that. It's just amazing. I can't wait to go to Turkey to actually go as a tourist, not to show, go as a tourist to look at this landmark of their history. It's just fantastic. So guys, I think that's it. I'm going to stop here because like I said before, this was an introduction for me to tell you guys that I'm back. 
So I'm going to end this here, guys. In my next vlog video of DIY is bye for now. Stay blessed, guys. And remember, COVID is real and it's still out there. Keep yourself safe and well, all right? So my next video DIY or vlog, it's bye for now.